Um, where she minimized so much of the Christian life is common sense. Modesty is actually a wonderful thing, but media today destroys the meaning. First Peter Three, three, two, four. Says, Whoso, whosoever adoring, let it not be that outward adoring of plating the hair and of wearing of gold or of putting on of a pure a pure for but let it be the hidden man of the heart and that which is not corruptible even the or ornament of a meek and quiet spirit which is in the sight of God of great price and and um, when a woman dresses perfected she is marketing herself up to every man out there in the world. Um, First Peter one twelve. Says unto whom it is it was revealed that not unto themselves but unto us they did minister the things which are now reported unto you by them that have preached the gospel unto you with the Holy Ghost sent down from heaven which things the angels desire to look into um, We live in a culture obsessed by appearance. Who is shaping you? The media? Your culture? Or is the scriptures and the word of God influencing the way that you dress? Dressing modesty doesn't mean wear clothes that are too big and uncomfortable. It means wear clothes that fit just right, not clothes that are going to arouse thoughts and actions from the opposite sex. We all have certain places that should be covered up. Some people look like they are going to be a stripper at a strip club. Some men look like they need... They done took a dump in their pants and they don't know what size they wear. And some just look like they don't want to save what they got. They want to share it with the world. And here's some things for the men. Tight pants? No, that's out of the question. Tight pants obviously highlight the groin area. Jeans that are a looser coat will do fine to keep you from being on display. Shorts that show the thighs. Shorts are harmless, but showing too much thighs can get you in trouble. And on most guys, 
showing too much thighs and wearing short shorts to make you look gay. I'm sorry. But that's what it makes you look like. Thighs are weakness for many people and can cause unwanted lust. But I, to be honest with you, I'm a guy. Thighs, really attractive. Lust. I mean, for me, a man wearing short shorts is disgusting. So wear your shorts to your knee or the arm and <laughs> vulgar or sexual phrases on clo clothing. These are just offensive and are not good judgment. When you are a Christian man, if someone, some are left from the old days, then the new you needs new teeth for where you are now. Sinful ad, clothing, alcohol, bars, drugs, etc. This goes for girls and guys. Men with morals and women with morals should not want to be walking advertising for sinful products. If you don't participate in the world world's activities or these brand of activities, you are sending the message that you do. If free tea costs too much when you pay for it with your soul. Pants that are low to show underwear, guys. Really? Are you, did you take a dump in your pants? Not only is it un, unattractive, but it shows the public your underwear, which should be private. There's a reason it is called underwear. Get pants that are your size and a belt worn on the waist would help. And seriously, if you're going to wear a belt, keep your pants up. That's what a belt's for. And girls, if you're gonna wear a shirt, wear a shirt that covers your boobs. And wear pants that you don't have to lay on the bed and button. Really? If you raise your hands and your shirt goes up, it's too small. Don't be wearing teen tap that shows what you got underneath your clothes. Well, what's underneath your clothes are called undergarments for a reason. It's not for the public to see. And your boobs are inside the shirt. Because that's modest. Come on, cover them up. Have respect for others and yourself. Stop making it look like you're selling yourself out now. Come on, get real. And And here's something I found. I thought it was pretty cool. It says, don't be a dummy. A mannequin wears whatever the world is selling. Your standards are higher than that. Hopefully. Don't short change yourself. The way you dress, advertise your standards, send the right message. These are just things that I found on the internet that I thought was helpful. And then most of them, my notes are in this notepad here. And shelter from the storm. 
there's comfort and safety in the standards and they cover everyone. Matthew seven twenty four point five. Oh. oh, come on. Hold on, guys. I'm sorry. Get to someday. Say, excuse me, I'm tired. Okay. Therefore, Matthew seven twenty four through twenty five. Therefore, whosoever heareth these saying of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon the rock, and the rain descended, and the flood came, and the winds blew, and beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon the rock. These words, in the Muslim Bible, it says, These words I speak to you are not incident incidental additions to your life how home owners owner improvement to your standards of living their foundational words words to build a life on if you work these words into your life you are like a smart carpenter who built his house on solid rock rain poured down the rivers flooded, a tornado hit, but nothing moved that house. It was fixed on the rock. Three points on modesty I want to make. First one, heart of modesty. Modesty is a heart issue. God looks at your heart, dress properly, cover up, and guys pull them up. Are you wearing what you are to want? What God gave you? Or are you wearing something that says, here I am. This is what I got. Come get it. Or are you wearing something that says, hey, you can't have this, I'm not easy. You can't have what's inside my clothes unless we're married. What does what you wear say about your heart? Does what you wear honor God? Two, appearance of modesty. It's okay to enhance your outer beauty, not to draw attention to it. This culture attacks people on the way they look in magazines, TV, etc.
but don't let that define who you are. Because Jesus Christ says you are beautiful. And especially women, they don't treat them as women, but I get the same for guys. See, the media tries to tell you that you have to look a certain way. And what you look like defines you. But let me tell you, it really doesn't matter. Showing your stuff doesn't make you look good. Cover up. We're children of the most high God. See, as me and my, me and this guy from church, we were talking, and he was saying how I look like a gangster slash prankster. But yeah, I still have a heart after God, and God sees my loving heart towards Him. And He says that He may look to pe other people, He may look like, how do you say? He might, might look like a delinquent or whatever, but Jesus Christ sees the heart. And he sees his heart after him, and that's the most important thing. And number three, the mission of modesty. Make sure your appearance honors the gospel. First Peter one fourteen. Fourteen through sixteen says, and as obedient children, not fashioning yourself according to the former lust in your ignorance, but as he which has called you is holy, so be he holy in all manners of conversation, because. It is written, Be ye holy, for I am holy. So roll up your sleeves, put your mind in gear, be totally ready to receive the gift that's coming when Jesus arrives. Don't lazily slip back into those old grooves of evil, doing just what you feel like doing. You don't know any better than you do now. An obedient child, children, let yourself be pulled into the ways of life, shaped by God's life. A life energetic and blazing with holiness. God said, I am holy, you be holy. In the past, you did not have the understanding you have now, so you did the evil things you wanted to do, but now you are children of God, so you should obey Him and not live the way you did before. Be holy in everything you do, just as God is holy. He is the one who chose you. In the scripture, God says He's holy. Be holy because I am holy. So, holy is to be set apart for for the things of God. Don't don't lower your standards just because somebody tells you you should go by the holy word of God. And um, don't dress according to the word. World's view, First Timothy two nine through ten. It says, 
as in like manner. Also, that women adore themselves in modest apparel with shame face and sobriety, sobriety, not with brooded hair or gold or pearls or costly or array, but which becometh men professing godliness with good work. Since prayer is at the bottom of all this, what I want modest mostly is for men to pray, not shaking anger fish fist at enemies, but raising holy hands to God. Humble yourself before God. Not stop prompting yourself before the mirror or tracing chasing the la latest fashion. Do something beautiful for God and become beautiful doing it. I want the women to make themselves attractive in the right way. Their clothes should be sensible, sensible and appropriate. They should not draw attention to themselves with fancy hairstyle or gold jewelry or pearls or expensive clothes, but they should make themselves attractive by the good things they do. That is more appropriate for women to, to who say they are devoted to God. You shouldn't dress to attract the opposite sex. You shouldn't dress modest. I mean, if you can't get it the way I'm saying, I don't know where else you're going to get it from because really, uh, I don't know. And girls, it's not hot to plant your stuff to show all your, I mean, come on, half shirts, really? Who wants to see your belly? And guys, who wants to see what's underneath your pants? I mean, I don't. And if you want to attract the right men and the right women, start dressing modest because it does matter what you look like really helps because do you really want to attract wrong people do you want people to commit adultery because of what you are wearing do you want somebody to I don't know, commit a sin because of what you're wearing, because of what you're showing, because you're showing your boobs, and because you're showing your butt. It's, it's not, it's gross. And a lot of people will might get criticized for being modest, but let me tell you, God it will honor your modesty. And I'm just think about it for a 
mana How else I want to encourage you to dress modesty. I want to challenge you to dress modesty. For at least a week. Try it. I mean, what's the worst they can do? Cover you up? Because I'm a bit sick and tired of seeing everybody's boobs. It's just a subject that really needs to be touched on. Because not only the world is doing it, what's said, the Christians are doing it. And it's just disgusting. And I don't get it. I don't get why people get made fun of because they're modesty, because they'd rather be covered up than to show what they had. Yeah, I might not get a lot of likes on this, but what can I say? Modesty is not to like very well, but you and my prayer for you guys is dress modesty if there's if you got in if you got a question what you're wearing then you probably shouldn't wear it. Love God more than your wardrobe. Ladies and men. Don't judge others because of what they wear or don't wear. It's a sad thing to say, but it's true. Alright, I love you guys. Be praying for it daily. Message in this. Alright, love y'all. Bye.